Welcome to Lawrence High School Stadium, where you'll be watching a game between Lawrence Cardinals and Cinnamon Sin. Hope Lawrence wins, and go Cardinals. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this afternoon's contest for Lawrence Cardinals for Fires for Cinnamon Sin. Number 64, Matt Molinaro. 
Score is zero to seven right now, zero to seven.
bubble. Great coverage. Yeah! That was opposite. Our side line. Our side line's wide open. Our side line. Fourteen to zero. Fourteen to zero. Evan Tijani on their return to 
Barnum. Zach Sarifi on the stop for Cinnamon Six. Fourteen, zero to fourteen. Hopefully, we can win this and get some points soon. Oliver Pay on the carry for the Cardinal. Thank you. 
Still 0 to 14. 0 to 14. Still 0 to 14, 0 to 14. Will we get lucky and get some points? Hopefully we will. Gain of nine yards of the play. Bring up second and one for the Cardinals. Let's hope this is a good quarter two. looking pretty confident. Let's hope they can get some points now. 
The score is still 0 to 14, 0 to 14. Now 0 to 21, 0 to 21.
return up to about the 25 yard line. First and 10 Cardinals in their own 25 yard line. Halftime is coming up soon. Be sure to stick around for the entertainment and the crowning of the homecoming king and queen. Let's hope we can get some points soon. Still 0 to 21. The score is still 0 to 21. Lost of about four yards in the play. Bring up second and 14 for the Cardinals. Still 0 to 21, 0 to 21. Hopefully, we'll get some points soon. Hopefully, before the second quarter is over. something soon. Finally, hopefully soon we will. Hopefully we'll finally do it now. It's a close one. We're still slack. Keep watching. Some points. 
Now it's the score is 6 to 21, 6 to 21. We've still got some ways to go before if we even want to win this game, but it's a good start. We finally scored a touchdown, finally. We just got to keep doing that and we'll get it. Seven to twenty-one. Seven to twenty-one. We're doing better now. We're getting motivated. Let's hope we can win this. We have a chance. Third and six for the Cardinals. Less than a minute to go in the second quarter.
bring a fourth down for the Cardinals. And Kadeem Neal will be in the punt. Half time's coming up soon. Remember to stick around for the entertainment. See the homecoming court. seconds left in the second quarter score is still 7 to 21 7 to 21 here we go Less than 30 seconds to go until the end of this quarter. Fifteen seconds. Let's hope we can get something. Five seconds to go. And that's gonna be the last play of the half. The half All right, the stick around for halftime. Lots of entertainment. See the homecoming court. Stay tuned for the halftime festivities.
And now we would like to introduce the 2014 Homecoming Court. Couple number one, Sarah Horn and John Boybin. Sarah is very excited and grateful to be part of this year's Homecoming Court throughout her high school career. Some of her favorite memories have been the time she, the time she spent with swim team and her involvement in Operation Smile. She is looking forward to starting college and pursuing a career in the medical field. Sarah thanks her incredible family, friends, teachers, and boyfriend for their endless support. She congratulates her fellow court mates and especially John for being an excellent escort and friend. John Boybin. John couldn't come up with a clever intro for his bio. He's been swimming since freshman year and does Model UN, the Yearbook Club, NHS, and DECA if he ever hands in the forms for it. He's also working on his Eagle Scout project, which is creating a memorial tree program with the Lawrence Township Shade Tree Committee. But right now, he's walking on the track with Sarah Horn, and he thinks that's pretty cool. Couple number two, Courtney Cunningham and Aaron Thompson. Courtney is honored to be nominated for the homecoming court. She is a member of the basketball and softball teams and involved in student leadership and the gospel choir. She'd like to thank her mom, dad, and brothers, Tim and Justin, for always being there when she needs them. She would also like to thank her teachers and friends for the support. And thank you, Aaron, for being the best escort. Good luck to the rest of the court. Aaron Thompson. Aaron is excited to be a member of this year's homecoming court and is honored to be escorting Courtney today. Aaron would like to thank his classmates for nominating him and his friends, family, and teachers for supporting him. He is a member of the golf and winter track team, National Honor Society and STEM club. He loves coming to all the sports games and cheering on the Cardinals along with the Cardinal crazies. Go Cards! And of course, a shout out to the squad. Couple number three, Mary Fred Evans and Jacob Berga. Mary Fred Evans, whether Mary Fred is motivating LHS athletics as a varsity cheerleader, debating at Model Congress, assisting the freshmen as a peer leader, or pole bowling, she can always be found with a smile on her face. Mary Fred's enthusiasm can be seen as she enjoys her job working at Captain Paul's Firehouse Dogs, volunteering as a tutor and serving as the president of the student council. Mary Fred plans on studying political science and ethics in college next year and hopes to work at state level politics. She's immensely thankful for her teachers, coaches, friends, and above all, her compassionate and loving mother and sister for their support throughout her life. Congratulations to the court. Go Cardinals! Jacob Berga. Jake is a member of the wrestling team and has wrestled his entire high school career. He is an active participant in the high school theater company and Model UN. Jake also does lots of community service throughout Lawrence, especially through clubs like Save and Interact. Weekends find him camping and hiking. Jake hopes to pursue a career in law and history. <laughs> Couple number four, Isabella Franchini and Dylan Peters. Isabella Francesini. Isabella plans on being on the swim team all four years of high school. She wants to thank her family and brother Matthew and sister Angelina for loving and supporting her and for being the funniest siblings to live with. Isabella would also like to thank her friends for being the best people to grow old with. Finally, she would like to thank her amazing escort, Dylan Peters. Dylan Peters. DJ has played basketball for LHS for four years and has been named captain for this upcoming season. He would like to thank his big family and God for supporting him. He would like to give a shout out to his boy Darian. He wishes to thank his wonderful escort Isabella and the senior class for voting him on to the homecoming court. And of course, a shout out to the squad. Couple number five, Grace Townsend and Kabir Surrey. Grace Townsend. Grace is a varsity field hockey player and track runner. She loves being involved in clubs, including Operation Smile and Senior Class. 
In the future, Grace plans to attend college and study medicine. She wants to thank her parents and sister Kelly, as well as all of her friends, for supporting her in everything she does. Finally, she wants to thank her very tall escort, Kabir, for walking with the shortest girl on the court. Kabir Suri. Kabir is a member of both the basketball and tennis teams at LHS. In his free time, you can find him pondering the age-old question of whether or not ball is truly life. He is also a part of Model UN, Model Congress, the National Honor Society, Math League, and Science Olympiad. He is honored to be escorting the beautiful Grace Townsend and would like to thank everyone for the nomination. And of course, shout out to the squad. Couple number six, Virginia Cummings and Shaquille Youssef. Virginia Cummings. Virginia is a four-year varsity athlete and captain of the girls' soccer team, also a member of the student leadership program. Virginia would like to thank her loving family and friends for all they've done for her over the years, especially her mom. Virginia would like to congratulate all her fellow court members and the class of 2015. Shaquille Youssef. Shaquille, or as many know him, Shaq, would like to thank the senior class for nominating him for homecoming court and his honor to be escorted to beautiful Virginia Cummings. Shaq plays basketball at lacrosse and has been a part of peer leadership, DECA, Team Pep, and Model UN. In his free time, you can find Shaq cheering on our sports teams with the Cardinal Crazies or playing video games with his friends. We'd like to thank his parents, friends, and family for always supporting him. And of course, shout out to the squad. Number seven, Zora Holness and Kevin Quist. Zora is really excited to be nominated for homecoming court by her peers. When she's not doing class activities, she's involved in spring track and hosting International Alliance's cultural festival. She would like to thank her mom for instilling a strong personality and values in her, which is why Zora wants to become a lawyer. Zora wishes the rest of the homecoming court good luck. Kevin Quist. Kevin is an exceptional young male. His interests include theater, metal detecting, coin collecting, and clubbing. When he's not being a weapon of mass dance destruction on the dance floor, he likes to take long walks on the beach alone with his metal detector. Although Kevin considers himself a larger than life character and a role model to those who cannot model, he is most of all a very modest man. Couple number eight, Maeve Humphreys and Nate LeCompte. Maeve is a soccer player and swimmer here at LHS. Some of her favorite activities include Operation Smile, Model UN, and Student Government. Maeve would like to thank her coaches, teammates, teachers, friends, and family for always cheering her on. She plans on attending college to study physical therapy and is looking forward to a great senior year. Nate LeCompte. When he's not rowing for Mercer Junior Rowing Club or geeking out on physics, Nate can be found participating in many clubs, including STEM Academy, Model UN, and Student Leadership. Nate would like to thank his teachers, friends, and families for their constant support and making his hard work worthwhile. After high school, Nate plans to study engineering in college, but first, he's excited to enjoy his senior year with his wonderful classmates. Couple number nine. Sabrina Pascarella and Darian Miller. Sabrina is a four-year varsity soccer and lacrosse player and will be attending King University for soccer. She would like to thank her parents and sister Gabby for all the love and support. She would also like to thank her amazing boyfriend Rayshawn for everything he does. Lastly, she would like to thank her wonderful escort Darian for being there for her since fifth grade. Love you, class of 2015. Darian Miller. A four-year basketball player, Darian would like to continue playing basketball after high school and major in athletic training. He'd like to thank his mom and sister for being there for him and always helping him when he needed it. Shout to my dad, One Bro DJ. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my wonderful escort, Sabrina Pascarella, who's been an amazing friend since fifth grade. Couple number 10, Evelina Truchel and Chris Moose. Evelina Truchel has been doing ballroom dance since the age of six and a two-time ballroom dance champ. 
She would like to thank her loving and caring family for always supporting her with every decision she makes, and all her friends for dealing with her sass on a daily basis. She plans to study physical therapy in college. She would also like to thank her escort, Chris Moose. Chris Moose, his actual name is Christoph Moose, but most people know him as Christmas. Chris runs track for LHS as well as the Trenton Track Club. This summer he traveled to Florida to run at the Disney Worldwide Sports Complex. His four by 100 team placed third at the AAU Nationals. Chris would like to thank his friends and coaches for pushing him when the going got tough. He plans to study business and run track in college. Chris would like to thank his beautiful escort, Evelina, for walking with him. Couple number 11, Eden Briggs and Tyler Cunningham. Eden is very excited to be part of this year's homecoming court. She is an upcoming fourth year member of the varsity swim team and avid traveler. She is looking forward to attending college next fall where she hopes to pursue science and business. Eden would like to thank her family, friends, and boyfriend for their unconditional love and support. Tyler Cunningham. Tyler plays three varsity sports, football, basketball, and baseball. He has made an honor roll every year. He has attended Lawrence schools. A volunteer at the Special Olympics, Tyler is interested in pursuing a career in sports medicine. Tyler wishes the court good luck. And finally, couple number 12, Erica Levin and Matt Molineros. Erica can be found on the sidelines of the football field or the basketball court cheering on the cards as varsity cheerleader or in the spring playing varsity lacrosse. She is president of the senior class, a peer leader, a member of both the National and Spanish Honor Societies. While not in school, Erica is tapping through life at the dance studio, volunteering at the Jewish Community Youth Foundation or sitting on the board of her United Synagogue Youth Program. No matter where she goes, her contagious smile and positive attitude always accompany her. Eric would like to thank her mom, dad, brother, family, and friends for their unconditional support and love. Congratulations to all on the court. <coughs> Matt Molineros. Matt has been playing football since sixth grade, and he is also on the winter and spring track teams. He is a Boy Scout and member of the Civil Air Patrol, Tri-M Music Honor Society, and a peer leader. Since fourth grade, he has been playing the saxophone and recently started learning to play guitar. Out of school, you can find him alter serving at St. Anne's Church or hanging out with his friends. Matt would like to thank his family and friends for their support. Congrats to everyone on the court. And there you have it, the homecoming court of 2014. If Mr. Sinaris can report to the press box with my Gatorade, I greatly appreciate it. And now, it gives me great pleasure to announce the new Lawrence High School King and Queen. Every senior at Lawrence High School had the opportunity to vote for one King and Queen. Voting is computerized and the results remain secret until this very moment. Not true, I knew on Friday. Dr. Dalber, Mr. Williams, Miss Fisher, Miss Sincata will be crowning the new King and Queen who are your homecoming King, Aaron Thompson. Your homecoming queen is Maeve Humphrey. Congratulations, King and Queen. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your 2014 homecoming King and Queen, Aaron Thompson and Maeve Humphreys. Congratulations.
illegal block in the back of the Cardinals. The score is still 7 to 21, 7 to 21. Hopefully we can get some points soon. I have confidence they can. More importantly, do they have confidence they can? Score seven to twenty one, seven to twenty one. Gain about two yards on the play, bring up third and nine for the Cardinals. Good try, though. First and 10, Lawrence from the Simmons and 42 yard line. First and 10, Lawrence. Score is still 7 to 21. 7 to 21. All right, here we go. One to ten for Lawrence, one to ten. Nick Tevinagam on the tackle for Simonson. First and ten, Lawrence, for the Simonson 31 yard line. Less than ten minutes to go in quarter three. Let's hope we get some more points. Still 7 to 21, 7 to 21. Take over first and ten of their own 
own 46 yard line. I hope we get some more points soon. The Cardinals were confident. Less than seven and a half minutes in quarter three. We still have a chance to win this game. Correction on the pronunciation of his name by the Simmons and coaches. Thank you. Five yard gain brings up second and five for the Pirates. and 10 for Lawrence. Score is still 7 to 21. 7 to 21. Third and ten. Score is still seven to twenty-one. Seven to twenty-one.
Stop at number six, Dan Totley. And number 70, Queasy Robinson. Get about four on the play. We're up second and six for the Pirates. Seconds left. Still seven to twenty-one. Still seven to twenty-one. Hopefully, we can make some more points next time. All right. The fourth quarter will be starting very shortly. Keep watching. We might win. Get some points. Cardinals got to get some points. Nick Kevin Adam on the carry. Penalty flag for Fields. Number five, all we're paying on the stop.
Let's do it. Let's get some points. Come on, Cardinals. What? How could it be on the runner? Oh, How could it be on the runner? The score is still seven to twenty-one. Seven to twenty-one. Personal foul. Helmet to helmet contact. We're in two and eight. Two and eight. We'll replay the down. we can win this. Let's try our best. Fourth and final quarter, 10 minutes. Let's try and get some points. Get some points now. Oh. Pass complete to number eight, Ryan Henry for the Simonson touchdown. All right. The score now is seven to twenty-seven. Seven to twenty-seven. Four and three. Four and three. Simonson's got 28 now. Cardinals got 27. They got seven points. So the score is 7 to 28. 7 to 28. Seven to twenty-eight. Seven to twenty-eight. Dom Sakali. First and ten, Lawrence. Their own twenty-four yard line. Yeah. 
close one. That was a real close one. Score is still 7-28, 7-28. Five minutes left.
Personal foul, face mask call the Cardinals. seconds left in the game, 30 seconds. <laughs> Game's almost over. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but you know, at least we tried, right? seconds.
the game is done. We didn't win. We got a touchdown at the end. It's 13 to 35. 13 to 35. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but hey, we ended with the touchdown. It's good. Wasn't expecting that. We got it though. That was pretty cool. Thank you for watching. No TPS News. Ryan Brisky, thank you for watching. Hey, how, how'd you like the game? I like the game, man. It was turned up in here. People came with their school spirit. Yeah. On fleet gear. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty good. We got a touchdown in the last few seconds. I was not expecting that. That was pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, Mom. What's up? So, how'd you think about the game? You like it? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I liked the, the game today. Yeah. I think they were, you know, it was a hard fought game. Unfortunately, we didn't yeah. come out on the yeah. But we tried, the though. Side of yeah. It. Yeah, yeah. We did a good job. I mean, that was good that we got touched on the last few seconds. I was not Definitely. expecting that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots yeah. Of things to we didn't win, but at least we tried, though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Very yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. This has been Ryan Brisky on LTPS TV. Thanks for watching.